For this lesson, we are going to read, draw, and write to find our answer. So first, let's read the word problem. Bella spilled some pencils on the carpet. Gino came over to help her pick them up. Gino found five pencils under the desk, and Bella found four by the door. How many pencils did they find together? Draw a math picture and write a number bond and a number sentence that tells about the story. We read through once, but I'm gonna read through again, and this time I'm going to circle the numbers that we're going to use and underline any of our keywords that help me figure out if we're going to add or subtract for this problem. Bella spilled some pencils on the carpet. Gino came over to help her pick them up. Gino found five pencils under the desk and Bella found four by the door. How many pencils did they find together? And we know that together is one of our keywords that knows that we need to add. It helps us understand that we need to add these two numbers together because it is Number is all together how many they found. So first I'm gonna draw Gino's five pencils. I like to draw circles because it's quick, easy, nice and neat. So there are Gino's five pencils. Bella found four by the door. So I'm gonna draw Bella's four pencils, but I like to color in the second row so that I can see what ones I've added in. So I read, I drew a picture, and let's write our number sentence. So when they were picking up the pencils, Gino found five. One, two, three, four, five. Bella found four. One, two, three, four. And we know that together means we're going to add. So to find our answer, let's count up all the pencils. We've been practicing counting on, and we know that in our five row groups that the top is five, so we can say five, six, seven, eight, nine. All together, Bella and Gino have nine pencils. They would also like us to show a number bond. So we know that the top of the number bond is going to be our whole number, or the number that is all of the numbers put together, and then we have two parts. So we have part, part, whole. So we know our whole number is our biggest number, and that is nine. And we know the two smaller numbers that it took to get to nine this time were five and four. So I read, I drew a picture, and now I'm going to write my answer on the lines that they've left for me. Draw a math picture and write a number bond and a number sentence that tells about the story. There's my number bond, there's my number sentence. And for extra, I'm going to say, Bella and Gino found nine pencils. 